uh, medical exam, they, uh, they don't schedule for you. You schedule by yourself. You schedule for yourself before the interview date. So what you do, you go to the website. Uh, and, uh, let me just uh, double check uh, the requirements for uh, uh, the, the requirements for medical exam. Uh, when I say one of the requirements, you need a original valid passport. Alas, you need a U.S. passport passport size pictures, uh, which are in a kuanga in a kuwa two inch by two inch white white background or light gray background depending on it you can also i love you then you will need uh you need your file case file case number and ds264 uh is it a total and back so that always could pull out your information and then another thing uh you need to make a payment uh at that time i made a payment of 400 dollars right now it's 400 uh, four hundred and eighty dollars. So you can can create with you how much does it cost in your currency? And uh, another thing, this money is non refundable. Uh come on if any exam and then when the interview on Google, don't think that anybody will refund you that money. That money is non refundable. Uh so Malpen you never find your exam in it to IOM International Organization for Migration. Uh, popularly known as IOM. Come up on Nairobi, you can along uh, Gigiri Road, up on Gigiri, uh, almost Gigiri Police Station. So now you have to come embassies, mingi up here. Is a China and whatever. Up on Gigiri, Gigiri up here. What is part up here? And the form of payments, you'll have to make payment either by CBA Bank in uh, a Gigiri branch only, which is located along the village market. Uh, address in Meku, up here and whatever. Is utajua mwenye. Or another way, kama unataka, kama utaweza kufanya via bank, uh, uneza lipa via M-Pesa, but hiyo utalipa at IOM, watakupatia payment information, maybe till or pay bill or whatever, whatever they use over there, I don't know. Yeah, this is what I, uh, I did it five years ago, so I don't know about it. Maybe you, you will know, you will know. Uh, kitu ingine, yanyu utaitajika kuprovide before they go ahead with the exam. Uh, nilitajika mimi personally kwa sababu ni kitu the processing ni go through and i still remember very well five years down the line uh, kitu kingine inahitaji kutoa vaccination uh, record unakumbuka kwa mdogo kule dungo hizi manini kama yellow fever and whatever na hizi vingine utastahili kutoa hizo medical record especially let's say ule za leo mali kama pumwani na for this time maybe hauna your records what you'll have to do, you'll go back to the hospital, they'll be able to retrieve your documents. Actually, hata me personally, sick one is my my documents. Uh, so what I did, uh, I did where uh, I was born, I was born in Nairobi. Uh, to Karudi, to retrieve the documents, necessary uh, documents, because uh, it's So uh, after that, Walipima. Uh, Qualifying exam and uh, exam one of the ugonjwa that you can get is TB. Ah, uh, kama wewe unagojeka TB, it doesn't mean that uh, how to ever kuja US, but what they do, how to kuja immediately. What what they do if they realize you are uh, suffering from TB, utakuwa utakuwa under utakuwa under medication but ukisha then ukisha pona your interview will be uh, your interview itaendelea mbele from there. Yeah, you can come back to you can come to US if you indeed you win uh, you win your visa. Yeah, then kuna hizi ugonjwa zingine wanaangalia wanaangalia hizi wanaangalia drugs wanaangalia any communicable diseases hawezi kaingia na hapa hivi. Ah uh, if kama ukipita hizo zote what are uh, what are what are, they'll have to test your stool and whatever. Ah uh, na hiyo process by the who take one day. Hiyo process yote ya yeah, exam will take at least one day. But uh, yeah, it will be most of you are so boy, now maybe you take the, like the whole day. Uko. Never mind about that because here the process in it will be kila mtu anapitia. So see, see where we pick yako. And then from there, uh, results is the sealed and it will direct to the embassy.